Welcome everyone to episode 35 of this Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program version 1.5.0. Now, in the previous exercise, we brought Valentina and Jeb back to Minmus Station 1 in this ore transport vessel you see here docked up at the top. And the whole point of this exercise is we want to gather all our crew together to bus them back to Kerbin, back to KSC. And one of our crew members remains stranded down here on Minmus surface. Uh, that is Bill, our engineer, so it's about time we go and rescue him. And we're going to do that with Jeb up here in this craft. So let's make sure we control from here. Uh, and then uh, let us detach both the ore transport vessel and the ISRU, the Convertitron 125, that we uh, attached earlier to help Val and Jeb get Back. So there we are. We are all uh, detached. There we see uh, Jeb all ready to go. So let's get the RCS on, get the uh, SAS on as well, and just back away a little from our uh, from Minma Station One. Now, if I seem to uh, recall correctly, we deactivated our engine. Uh, when we docked in the previous episode. And that's always a good idea to prevent accidentally uh, sending your station tumbling. Uh, so let's reactivate that engine and uh, get ready with a manoeuvre for Jeb to land on the surface. So let's go into, let's go into, uh, into map mode. And you'll see here we have a white line overlying uh, the current trajectory and that's from the trajectories mod uh, and that gives us uh, an opportunity for us to see where our uh, trajectory will take us over the next orbit. Now uh, we want to land down here so we're going to use the trajectories mod here to plan our descent. So let's just get some retrograde in here. Uh, and looking at our white line, this is the uh, line that Jeb is going to take relative to uh, our craft on the surface. So let's just bring that down. Uh, so there we go. According to this, we are going to land uh, a little bit beyond uh, Bill's uh, drilling platform. So we've got two choices. We can either pull a little bit further on our retrograde marker or just move our... Uh, maneuver node around. Oh, that's too far, so let's come back a bit. You can just about make out every now and again a little red X, uh, and at the moment that red X is just hiding a little bit below the surface. Bit of a shame, makes it a little bit easier to see exactly where you're going to land. Uh, now I've brought uh, my maneuver node forward a bit, so we are going to land a little bit beyond uh, Bill's uh, drilling platform because I'm sure we're going to lose some of our horizontal velocity as we plan our uh, landing, so uh, probably best to overestimate where we're going to land. Now the great thing about the trajectories mod is it takes into account the rotation of uh, Minmus in this case, uh, so you can see uh, exactly where you're going to land even with a rotating body. So all that remains now uh, is to um, approach our maneuver node. So let's go and click on the warp to maneuver node handle uh, and uh, to warp around our orbit. You can see us warping around here right next to our main station. So that's us just there. So let's get uh, let's get our uh, little window up. We don't need the trajectories uh, mod here at the moment. So let's just right click that away uh, and just do our standard maneuvers. Just wait for time warp here to uh, to drop back down to one. Here we go with three minutes to go to our maneuver node. It's a relatively small, 28 meters per second, almost 29 meters per second of delta v. So that's going to be nothing for our little poodle engine to potter out. So let's just get ourselves pre-aligned on our little uh, blue maneuver node marker. There we go. Let's bring up our KOS uh, controller. We've actually got two because we've got one on the Convertitron module and one on the main craft. Doesn't matter which one. Uh, so let's uh, run our node uh, script. Uh, so uh, what I've done 
is I've actually made a slight modification to our script. Uh, not only does it tell us when our maneuver node is going to be and how much delta V we have, uh, it also now tells us our available thrust. And that was a little bug check uh, because if you don't uh, don't activate your engine. In other words, you have no thrust. You end up with a divide by zero error in your script. Now I've trapped for that error and I've also taken the opportunity to display the amount of delta V, uh, not the delta V, the amount of available thrust in kilonewtons. We've got 250 kilonewtons available from our Poodle engine. Uh, the estimated burn duration is 2.5 seconds and the alignment, uh, the pre-alignment time will be at uh, one minute and one second. So let's uh, just use a little bit of time warp here to move ourselves round to that one minute and one second. There we go, one minute 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10, five, there we go. So this will just lock in our manoeuvre. There we go, locked in. So at T minus one, we will begin our two and a bit second burn. So again, let's use a little bit of time warp to bring us around to that. So 20 seconds, 10, there we go. So let's just watch our uh, manoeuvre uh, burn away. There we go, so there it is, burning away. Follow the orbit now is this blue line coming towards the orange predicted line and the actual trajectory as seen by Bill is the white line. There we go. Program has ended. Um, let's just delete that marker, we don't need that anymore. So you can see how uh, our blue trajectory uh, in space uh, would uh, look like it's going to land us well beyond uh, Bill's craft but Trajectories has taken that into account and shows us our actual position just here so uh, don't think we're going to need uh, that anymore let's come out of map mode um, and let's just uh, remove that KIS window as well so there's Minmus station just disappearing off into distance because we were only just hovering a little bit above it we would only used a little bit of RCS just to back away so we weren't actually that far away from it to start with so uh, let's find let's uh, let's find ourselves there we go there's Minmus down there uh, so we are now hurtling towards uh, we're now hurtling towards Bill uh, hopefully he is uh, still drilling away quite happily so let's uh, just go back into map mode a bit and just uh, let's just accelerate round to here just click on the line and use warp to here that'll just bring us around a little bit faster so there we go you can just see the lander icon just here coming around our blue orbit now unfortunately it looks like we're going to be landing in the dark we do have lights on this craft so hopefully uh, that shouldn't be uh, too much of a problem in fact it may actually help uh, having landing lights on the base of your lander uh, does actually help um, you can use them a bit like the dam busters did to uh, measure distance to the surface so that'll work pretty well okay so let's get ourselves uh, let's get ourselves rotated so we know which way we're going <laughs> Uh, so there we go. So there is, um, there we go. So let's turn ourselves around. Um, just about see, there we go. That's our target here. And uh, just double click on uh, Bill Kerman's drilling platform. That's where we're going. So that's uh, retrograde. So we're still quite a way away. So let's, uh, let's use our warp to here again. So let's warp ourselves another half the distance. So now as we get much closer to Bill, you can see the white and blue lines are almost on top of each other. So right, here we go. Right, so let's get prepared and uh, get ourselves rotated around. Let's turn the other way around actually. go so uh, that's the view <laughs> uh, that is uh, the view at the moment that Jeb has you can just make out there 
right up there that's it uh, that'll be the uh, Minma station one back out there so that's the view that he has coming uh, coming down uh, backwards as he is let's get the uh, gear out uh, there we go so let's get the gear out ready to land and uh, we can just make out there we go about 40 kilometers going to our target We're going at a target relative speed of about 174 meters per second we still got uh, a pretty long way to go so let's just use a little bit of time warp again uh, to approach Bill now what I'm going to do is I'm going to approach uh, right above Bill uh, and then slam on the brakes uh, and hopefully drop down uh, right beside him I don't know how lucky we're going to be with that but uh, but let's go let's see <laughs> let's see what we can do uh, from the looks of things we're going a little bit off to one side but that's probably okay we don't want to land directly on top of him uh, so let's uh, keep going. Let's just come out of time warp a second and straighten ourselves up. So we're going to be on the horizon and then just slam on the brakes. So let's get ourselves onto the horizon. 15 kilometers to go. And just keep going just a little bit further. So there we go. Now there's a couple of flags down there as well. So that's what the other uh, icons are showing us. Let's get lined up again. And you can see the pink target marker. When that uh, goes right underneath us, we're going to slam on the brakes. So that's going to disappear off the bottom of the map in a few seconds, but off the bottom of the nav ball, and that's when we're going to hit the brakes. So there we go. Let's come down, uh, make sure we are ready to go. So there we go. Slam on the brakes. going to be a little bit beyond him, which is not a problem. There we go, target relative speed coming right down. There we go, not so bad. Not so bad at all. There we are, coming straight down now, give or take. And we can actually use, uh, we can actually sort of use the sort of docking and herding mechanism here. Uh, so uh, what's going to happen is, uh, as we fall, um, the yellow marker is obviously going to go beyond the pink target marker and we'll just herd it back uh, and that will help us keep as close to uh, Bill as possible. So basically uh, while we're falling we still have 1800 meters to go uh, we're just going to herd our markers. Uh, so let's herd it back again and we need to stop herding when we get near the ground uh, because we don't want to be slamming sideways into Bill's craft. Uh, so you can only do this for so long because obviously gravity is pulling you down. Uh, so there we go. So uh, our yellow marker is always going to be sort of moving in this direction to try and uh, fall straight down. Uh, but we're doing pretty well at the moment. Uh, we are pretty close. 1.6 uh, kilometers away so I think we're going to be pretty close so let's just keep herding there we go 1.5 13 or well, almost 15 now 15 meters per second towards the target and we've got uh, 1,300 uh, meters to go before we hit the surface. Uh, let's get our lights on. We've got uh, quite, a, quite a good set of lights uh, focused down, so we shouldn't have any problems seeing the ground. Uh, we've got our suicide burn details up here, so we can get as close as 56 meters to the surface before we have to uh, hit the throttle. So uh, uh, we've got plenty of time to keep herding. So let's just herd a little bit more. So about a thousand meters to go. And then I think we will switch into surface mode. So we're coming down pretty close now to our, uh, coming down pretty close now to our target. There we go, surface mode. And I think we should now just begin to herd our marker towards the top of the nav ball. So that we're just hovering above the surface. There we go. So we're going to be a little bit away from Bill. 
um, but that's not going to be a problem as you will see very very soon so we're coming straight down now so all we have to do now is manage our vertical speed uh, we could do a suicide burn but <laughs> that's not for me very long shadow here from Bill's drill platform you can see uh, sun is setting uh, we're coming down nicely beside Bill's platform uh, just getting below the 10 meter per second mark and that's probably uh, probably sufficient for these legs to survive. 10 meters a second, very good, uh, very good target to, to hit. So there we go, 5 meters per second. There we go. Just gently bringing us down. We're going to be uh, just under well, 100 meters, maybe a little bit over 100 meters away from Bill when we actually hit the ground. That's pretty good. There we are, 200 metres from uh, Bill and 100 metres to go to the surface. So we're coming straight down at 4.8 metres per second. Can't see our lights yet on the surface, should get a very good reflection from this minty surface. 4.5 metres per second. Just make sure we stay vertical. Slow down just a little bit more. 20 meters to go. Going off a little bit to one side. There's our light, so we're getting very, very close now. Two meters per second. And there we go, down. Now I'm just gonna drop the, um, the TK off for a second, let, uh, let our craft settle. Uh, so uh, <laughs> that went very well, surprisingly. Uh, so uh, we're down. You can see a very, very long shadow there. Let's take uh, let's take ourselves uh, a little a souvenir photo. There we go, souvenir photo. How close we managed to get. So let's just take a photo for Jean there. Now, so how are we going to cross this distance? We've got uh, 165 uh, meters to go, and we know that our uh, we know that our KAS, Kerbal Attachment System attachments, will only go about 40 metres. So we've got to cross about 120 metres or so. Well, there you go. I have been busy this last week with KOS and I've adapted the hover script, the hoverbot script that uh, Dunbar Ninefinger produced when he was testing out the early revisions of PID controllers for KOS. So I have written myself a hover script. Uh, so let's get up uh, KOS. Now, Bill Kerman's KOS unit is also visible, but we don't want to be controlling Bill's craft. So let's make sure we pick one of the right uh, KOS uh, modules. So let's pick the one we've been using. Let's just clear, uh, let's just clear the screen. Uh, and what we're going to do is we are going to switch to the archive volume, volume zero, uh, which you can do uh, with a number of limitations. Now, if you're using remote tech, you will, of course, uh, need a connection back to KSC to do this. Uh, but if you don't have remote tech, there is a very sort of basic uh, remote tech like limitation uh, you do have to have an antenna available and I think somewhere on here we do have an antenna uh, which will give us connectivity back to KSC so uh, bear that in mind if you find yourself out on ELU and needing to get to the KSC you will need a suitable antenna but we have such an antenna uh, and we are going to run the hover 3 script version 3 uh, now this script takes one argument, which is the height above the surface that you would like to hover, and I'd like to hover at 15 metres above the surface, so let's just run that, uh, and uh, up we go. Uh, now we have a PID controller that is controlling the thrust to such an extent that we should hover gently above uh, the surface at about 15. So if you look up here in the top left, it's just beginning to settle. So it's just gone a little bit above its target, uh, but should, uh, should settle down uh, very, very nicely. Now we could use the RCS to translate across to Bill, uh, but um, that wouldn't really demonstrate the power of the PID controller. So instead, 
uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the craft so Jeb can see which way he is supposed to be traveling. So let's just rotate ourselves around. Uh, so the back of the craft is where the hatch is. Uh, so that's here. So let's just rotate ourselves around and basically point ourselves at Bill. So let's point ourselves in roughly uh, that direction. So you can just see Bill's marker there in the background. So uh, we're now hovering a little bit above uh, 15, so it's just beginning to settle. But what we're going to do is we are going to uh, tip ourselves forward, uh, which means obviously that there is less thrust facing down, so the PID controller uh, will obviously have to raise the throttle uh, in order to keep us uh, gently, gracefully coasting across the surface. Uh, so we can just about see uh, the distance beginning to drop here now. So let's have a quick look at uh, at the view that Jeb has. There you go. You can see uh, the Bill's craft there. And then just a little bit off to the left, you can see uh, the pipe docking port that's just there to the left. So uh, Bill has a rather nice view of our approach. And Jeb is doing a grand job of getting us there. So let's now we've uh, accelerated um, and got ourselves some forward speed. Let's just bring ourselves vertical again and maybe move ourselves a little bit over to the left so that we're a little bit closer. I can't really see it here in the dark, but a little bit closer to that nozzle there. So we've got 80 meters to go. So we want to get down to about 40. Uh, so let's. Uh, just slow down a little bit. Not go too fast. Again, the more we lean over, the greater the throttle has to be in order to keep us going at the right speed vertically. That is not crashing into the surface. Uh, so let's slow down now. Let's slow right down. We're almost ready to uh, begin our final approach. So there we go. So we're hovering more or less above the surface now. Let's just slow down in l this uh, sideways direction as well. Now you'll notice when I started the script, the legs, uh, the gear came back up. And that's a, a good point because I'm using the gear down as the instruction to kill the hover script. Uh, and when we kill the hover script, um, the throttle is basically locked at whatever the current setting was. So now we can just drop the throttle and do a nice gentle landing onto the surface. There we go. We've got a little bit of horizontal speed, but it shouldn't be too much to trouble us. Kill the throttle and there we go. So a little bit of a rock there. Let's just get the uh, SAS off, let the craft settle, and we're done. So we're only 23 meters away from the drilling platform. Uh, you can just see off there in the darkness, just under Bill's, uh, just under Bill's shadow, you can just see the uh, nozzle point. Hopefully that's not too much of a sharp angle uh, for the nozzle to be drawn uh, across. So I suggest we get that sorted. So let's close that window. So we're nicely, uh, nicely sorted for our landing for Jeb. So let's just cross over to Bill's craft. So that's one of the flags. That's the other flag. And there we are, Bill's craft. So let's get, uh, let's get Bill EVA'd out. There we go. So, so let's just let go uh, and have Bill uh, just gently bring himself down to the surface. Now I think Bill's got. I think Bill's got uh, another one of those, yes he has, he's got another one of those ground bases, but we've only got one of these attachments. So if that's too sharp an angle, what we'll have to do is uh, just put down another one of those bases. So we'll do that uh, when we get about halfway between the two craft, just in case we need it. So let's just move ourselves across towards Jeb. So you can see the drills are hammering away there, so hopefully Bill has a good bit of fuel left. So that must be about halfway. So what we're going to do is we're going to plant another one of these just in case we need it. So that's one of the concrete pylons. Let's open the inventory. Uh, let's equip our uh, wrench. 
let's drag and drop our post. And what we're going to do uh, is we're going to use uh, the, uh, let's just attach it. Oh, no, not rotate it that way. What we're going to do is rotate a little bit so the faces are facing the right way. There we go. So that's facing more or less uh, parallel with our two vehicles. So let's go to H into attach mode and then just hammer that down. Now we may not need that, uh, but let's just put it out in case we do. Uh, so what we're going to do here uh, is just pop across, uh, we don't need the inventory open, uh, let's just pop across to this pipe end over here. Uh, pick up the pipe end with link. There we go, so let's now just potter over. Yeah, I think we should be all right. I don't think that's too tight an angle should be just okay so let's pop in here having a hard time uh, poor old uh, poor old Bill's having a hard time pottering across the surface here with this rather heavy pipe attached to him uh, but let's get got right underneath here and let's attach link there we go link there we go so that's all linked up so our two vessels are now linked up so what we have to do now is get uh, get Bill back inside to begin transferring some ore. So we didn't need this uh, uh, pylon here uh, at all. Uh, so let's um, uh, put our, unequip our wrench, uh, and get our RCS on and get, uh, <laughs> and have and have a rather of an assault course in uh, space because I am terrible uh, at uh, RCS based EVA maneuvers. Try desperately not to knock over uh, either uh, our craft or, <laughs> or our uh, solar panels, that's the thing, solar panels, try not to break uh, the solar panels. So let's just hop up and then forward, uh, trying to do all this with my left hand. So let's go forward, up a little, and grab. Oops, no. <laughs> Oh dear, saved by the RCS thruster. <laughs> oh dear, come on Bill, you've got mining to do. So let's just back up a bit. Turn around. Oh, get the RCS on. And up we go. And forward. Whoops. <laughs> No, don't switch off your RCS. Grab up. Yes, made it. Uh, let's board. Right, um, you'll see we're actually focused on the middle of the landscape here, and that's because this is one craft, and the centre of gravity of this craft is around about here, this pylon being extremely heavy. Uh, so, we are now ready to go. Now, I'm going to just make sure uh, this is currently off. I must have left it on. I must have left the keys in the ignition. Uh, when we uh, arrived at uh, Minmus 1. So we should find that uh, we are slowly accumulating uh, ore in our ore canisters. Uh, there we go, so 0 0.02. So we're getting 0 0.02 in all of our canisters uh, as we go. So there's 0 0.02 and it will slowly accumulate as Bill gets the stuff out of the ground. So with the sun setting, on uh, this lovely vista with Bill and Bob now uh, safely on the surface of Minmus. I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.